Well, Pat, as mentioned earlier, the clouds have rolled in and we have a very wet track for our first race. However, these production bikes are on treaded tires, and that's the only answer when running in these conditions. Craig, the field is away. Gary Goodfellow starting from the pole position away quickly. Number 97, Richard Greff is right there. He started up on the front row, and as they break at the end of the straightaway, going into turn one, it is Greff, number 97, with the lead. Goodfellow, 99, follows in the second place position, and then it is Vancouver's Kent Lalonde running back into third place spot. The riders try to find a position up here on the opening lap. They're out of the chicane. Goodfellow trying to outbreak Ref 97 into the hole here, and he will take the lead. Goodfellow leads it into the stock car oval on lap number one. A nice bit of outbreaking on the leader at the time, 97, Richard Greff. There is Gary Goodfellow, your leader. Greff 97 holds the second place spot, but he is being pressured now by number 14, Ken Lalonde. Gary Goodfellow, number 99, coming through the final turn. You can see the race for second. It is 7.51. Robin Hardy goes inside of Greff 97 and Lalonde to move into the second place position. There is 199, John Ramsey from Nova Scotia. It looks like he is out of it early. 99, Goodfellow leads it off the end of the straightaway. In to the hairpin at turn one. Greff had second for a moment, but Hardy will go around to retake the number two spot. Greff 97 on the Honda runs third, and then it is 14, Lalonde back in fourth. Out of that chicane, the riders carrying a lot of speed through that chicane as the wet conditions here really proving to be a bit of a problem for some of these riders. 751 Hardy, you saw the back end moving around on the machine. Oh, a terrific sense of balance for this young rider on such a wet track. That's 66, Kawasaki rider Pierre Martin of Laval, Quebec. Two riders that are very competitive on the wet racetrack. 97, Richard Greff, and number 14, Ken Lalonde on the Yamaha. They're racing for the third place position out of turn two. There is your second place rider, 751, Robin Hardy, trying to chase down Gary Goodfellow. Then it is Greff, 97, and third, Lalonde runs back in the fourth place spot. The riders break for that left-hand turn that'll take them into the stock car oval. Steve Previ in number 73 runs back in the fifth place spot. Side by side, under the Castro bridge. They'll come through the final turn. Lalonde up on the outside of Greff trying to grab that third place spot. They go side by side onto the straightaway. Had the umbrella still out as Greff and Lalonde going wheel to wheel off the end of the straightaway into the hairpin. Greff holds that third place spot. Here is a good battle a little further back. 87, Norm Murphy on the Kawasaki along with 185, Tommy Douglas and just ahead of them, rookie Andrew Virgil. Here is the race for third. Again, the two riders tied together off that short straight away and into turn five and there's Gary Goodfellow he's just pussyfooting this thing around trying to keep the bike as straight as possible on this wet track path Gary's done an outstanding job and so have these two riders Ken Lalonde number 14 Richard Greff 97 again side by side as they move out of the straightaway they have been having a war for that third place position there is Gary Goodfellow he has had a very unique line coming off the end of the straightaway into the hairpin you can see Robin Hardy not all that far behind and then this tremendous race for third place. It's Lalonde, number 14, who now will take over third. Greff makes a move to the inside. He will retake the third place position. What a race these two riders are having. There's 99, Goodfellow, your leader, and Robin Hardy, 751, is right on him, and he is closing. Goodfellow back into the stock car oval. You've got to watch it through this section of the racetrack. An awful lot of puddles in there, and Goodfellow trying to find perhaps the cleanest racing line through there as he continues to come up on slower traffic. He'll be putting a lap on number 29, Rick Covier. 751. Robin Hardy has had an outstanding race. He is still in the hunt for the win. Third place battle under the bridge through the final turn. Richard Greff and Ken Lalonde have been staying right with each other throughout this one and they've had a tremendous race for that third place position. Again, they're just a bike length apart across the line. Gary Goodfellow, number 99, breaking for the hairpin and he's had a very unique line through that section of the racetrack. Oh, bad luck for Robin Hardy. He was right on Goodfellow's rear wheel, and that would have made a great race to the finish on this last lap.
Craig, it doesn't look as though Hardy's going to be able to get the bike going. He's put up the face shield. That is going to be it for him. This now becomes the race for second. Richard Greff, 97, and Ken Lalonde, number 14. Gary Goodfellow, 99, out of the final turn. Coming to the start-finish line, there's the checkered flag, and Goodfellow will win it. Side by side for second, out of the bridge, out of the final turn, Lalonde and Greff. What a race they have had. It is Lalonde getting the power on a little bit earlier than Greff to the line, it'll be Ken Lalonde. Lalonde has finished second. Ref in third, here is 73. Crevier, he will finish in fourth. Tommy Douglas fifth, here is the race for sixth. Another close one to the line, and it'll be 87. Norm Murphy finishing sixth. The rookie Virgil will be seventh. There are the final results for this wet Denise 750 production race with Vancouver's Goodfellow, now in a commanding lead for the production championship with 30 points.